Hey what's going on guys, Turkey Wersey here and welcome back to another Minecraft modding tutorial for version 1.15. In this tutorial we are going to be going over how to create a spawn egg for your entities. Now I know I said I would be doing a furnace tutorial but I figured as we were doing entities uh, it just makes sense to uh, just do this and then that will en be entities mostly finished off um, but I will be doing uh, some AI tutorials and stuff alike in the future but this is a very simple tutorial so let's go ahead and do it so the first thing we need to go ahead and do is create a new class in our items package and I'm just going to call this mod spawn egg item this class is going to extend spawn egg item now we can just create two constructors the first constructor is going to take in a final non-null supplier and that in there we will put question mark extends entity type and I'm just going to call that a entity type supplier. Then it is going to take in a final int and we're going to call that primary color and then another final int and that will be the secondary color. Then it will take in a final item dot properties and we'll just call that properties. Now we just want to go ahead and create a variable for the supplier. So that will be a private final lazy. And in there we can put question mark extends entity type. And we can just call that an entity type supplier. Now in here we can first do the super. This will first take in null. Then it will take in the primary color, the secondary color, and the properties. Then we want to set this dot entity type supplier to a lazy dot of, and that will take in the entity type supplier colon colon git. Now we want to create a pre protected static final list of mod spawn egg item, and this will be the list of spawn eggs that have been unadded and that will just be equal to a new array list then we can just call uh, unadded eggs dot add this now the second constructor will take in a final registry object and once again that will take in question mark which extends entity type and we're just going to call that entity type supplier and then it is going to take in the exact same thing from the first constructor so that is just the primary primary color, the secondary color, and the item properties. Now we can just do this super once again, so that will just be the exact same. And then these two lines of code as well will be the exact same. Okay, the next thing to do is create a method called init unadded eggs. This will add all the supplier based on the spawn eggs to the vanilla map, and uh, it registers all the, uh, the behaviors for them and just it will just make them all work as they're meant to be so that will just be a private static void in its unadded eggs in here we first want to create a final map of entity type and spawn egg items now here we need to do some reflection to access the field so that will just be uh, obfuscation reflection helper I don't know how you actually say that word, I can never say it. Uh, .get private value. That will first be the class, so that is just the spawn egg item .class. The instance can just be null. And then the field name is just the name of the field that we want. So that is uh, this field right here. I'm just going to copy it in. Next we need to do the default dispense item behavior so this is basically for when the item when the spawn egg is used in a dispenser uh, we obviously want it to spawn the item uh, the entity instead of actually uh, shooting out the item so that will just be a default dispense item behavior and we can just call that default dispense item behavior and that can just be equal to a new default dispense item behavior and here we just want to override the method dispense stack First we can create the direction that the dispenser is facing and to do that that will just be uh, 
equal to source dot get block state dot get and then that will take in dispenser block dot facing now obviously instead of uh, using reflection uh, you could obviously uh, go ahead and AT the field um, it doesn't really matter however this is only uh, temporary hopefully forge will be adding uh, a method to do this for us at some point in the future uh, but currently they haven't so we are kind of forced to do this now we can create a field for the entity type that will just be stack dot get item which we want to cast to a spawn egg item and then we can call get type and that will just take in stack dot get tag next we can call type dot spawn this will first take in the world which we can get from source dot get world then the stack then for the player we can just put null for the pos it will just be source dot get block pos and we just want to offset that with the direction then the spawn reason uh, luckily there's already a spawn reason for that and that is just spawn reason dot dispenser now for this boolean here that will just be uh, whether the direction uh, equals uh, direction dot up or not so we want to check if it does not equal direction dot up and then for the last boolean we can just put false and that is just whether it should expand the bounding box or not then we obviously want to shrink the stack by one so that it does actually lose the item after that we can go ahead and loop through all the spawn eggs in the unadded eggs list which we created earlier and here we can just go ahead and put all of those eggs into uh, this which we got from the uh, reflection helper and that will just be spawn egg dot get type which will just take in null for the uh, compound mbt and then it will just take in the actual spawn egg item and then we can call dispenser block dot register dispenser behavior and this will take in the spawn egg item and the dispenser behavior after that we want to make sure we clear the map finally we can create a new method to get the type and here we just want to return our entity type supplier dot get now that we have done that we can go ahead into our um, main class and presuming you have this at mod dot event bus subscriber up here which you should do we can go ahead and create a new method and we can call this on register entities that will take in a final registry events dot register and that will take in the entity type and here we can just call our modded spawn egg item dot init unadded eggs however do make sure you didn't put this as private i accidentally put it as private but obviously that's meant to be public and obviously once that's public you can just go ahead and call that really easily also make sure you go ahead and put the at subscribe event animation in here as well otherwise it won't be called now we can go into our item in it and we can go ahead and register an item so this will just be a public static final registry object and i'm just going to create example underscore spawn egg and that is obviously equal to items.register that first takes in the name and then it takes in a supplier which is for a new mod spawn egg item this will first take in our mod entity type then it will take in the two colors which i will go over in a second and then a new item.properties and then you can just do any settings on this that you wish so the primary and secondary color you can either use a decimal color value or a hexadecimal color value so i'm going to use a hexadecimal color value as uh, that is a lot easier so i will just link this site in the description hexadecimal color values and you can just create the color that you want so for the uh, first one i'm going to have this nice pink color so to have it as hexadecimal you just do 0x and then you put the hexadecimal and for the secondary color i'm going to put it as this nice yellow color now i should probably mention uh, i have gotten a lot of this code from uh, someone called Cadibu 
from his GitHub. Uh, he has some nice stuff on there, so you should just go ahead and check that out. Um, I'm sure it will help out a lot. So now we just need to go ahead and do the lang and do the item model. So I'm going to go ahead and do those. Now for the item model, it just parents off of item forward slash template underscore spawn egg. And that means it will basically do the colors and stuff by itself. Now that should be it, we should go ahead and run the game and it should work, so I will see you guys in the game. So guys, as you can see, I am now in the game, so here's my entity of course. Uh, if I just pick block, obviously it gives me the spawn egg, it's got its nice little uh, colours which is nice, and it is obviously in my creative tab which is lovely, and obviously uh, it spawns. If I grab a dispenser, Okay, so dispenser and obviously something to power it. Then when I place down the dispenser, put the spawn egg in and dispense, it spawns our entity. Um, I believe placing the dispenser up doesn't work, of course, so uh, let's just double check. Oh, it does work. Okay, that's nice. So yeah, um, if you guys did enjoy this tutorial, please do be sure to smash your face into that like button and subscribe. If you really enjoyed, please do be sure to share it. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.